Hey everybody, Megan here. <clears throat> I am back from an incredible three month sabbatical and I just wanted to take a few minutes to check in and say hi. Um, but the big thing I wanted to do today was just take a couple of minutes if you have it to give you a little tour of our property. Um, we have been doing the best we could during this pandemic to really make the best use of this time without groups and camps being on the property. Um, I think most of you know this is a really old property and it's been hard to maintain while we're doing such a robust ministry for all of these years. So we've done our very best, but there was certainly a long list of things that we knew we could work on during this time. And so we've done a bunch of work to the physical property and we've also done a lot of work administratively to kind of put some systems in place that will help us operate more smoothly and to just um, be in the best possible place we could possibly be when we reopen camp. So we'd been working steadily on that work, but when I got back to the property yesterday after my sabbatical, I just couldn't believe all of the amazing work that had been done. And so I just wanted to show you some of the highlights of what has been worked on. So come with me for a tour. So listen, I mean, you're not watching an HGTV show, so I'm not gonna show you a lot of final projects because these are mostly projects that we are just in the process of seeing. But I think it's really exciting to know what's in the works here. So here we are in our camp office, which is a little bit of a mess right now, but it's a mess for good reason. This was my office, but we are in the process of renovating the attic at Cannons to create more office space for us. We'll get more on that later so that Faith can have some of her own office space for when camp is back in session. Some of you might recognize this as the dining room, but at the moment, while our office is under construction, this is the camp office. Um, it's been fun for all of us to be here in the house together. And you will also see just before this pandemic started, we actually painted our conference room and dining room so we could add some brighter color to the space. So uh, here is our office slash dining room. So those of you who have spent any time in this barn know that we have had our trusty, wonderful barn benches for a long time. And I know there's plenty of camp alum that will tell you that they were part of creating them, I think back in the 60s. Um, but they have aged a little bit. And one of the cool projects that we are taking on during this time is that we are taking the benches apart to um, sand down the wood, to refinish it, and to put them back together with new bolts and hardware in place so that they are just a little bit more secure and will, with any luck, last us another, uh, I don't know, math's not my thing, but like another 60 or 70 years. So in summer camp time, at the end of every week, we give an evaluation to our campers to find out about their camp experience. They usually have great things to say, but we do have one thing that our campers and staff consistently offer us in what you might call the category of constructive criticism. Um, people seem to take issue with the bathrooms here. I can't quite figure out why. Okay, I can totally figure out why. And guys, we hear you. We are still working on the construction of a new bathroom, shower, and nurse's station that will go right over in this general area where our dispensary once was. Turns out building a totally new building takes a hot minute and the pandemic kind of put a little uh, glitch in my timeline for that. But in the meantime, we are hard at work trying to beautify our other bathrooms. So check this out. This is the upper area girls bathroom located just behind the store. Do you recognize what this is here, everybody? You might not. This is a wall. <laughs> this bathroom has just been um, kind of a gutted space for a long time. We're putting in some walls. We're going to put in a new floor, new sinks, uh, new stalls. So this will uh, be a much lovelier bathroom for our campers and staff and guests to use. Okay, so some of you know that we have been in the process of renovating the house bathroom for a long time. And sorry, I'm not showing you the full renovation right now because you need to see this puppy in person. But I do have one piece of good news I want to share with you. Do you see it? Lance was able to preserve some of the wallpaper. That's right, baby. Any guesses of where I am right now? Lance says, if you can figure it out, you're in trouble because you had no business crawling underneath the Higgins, John, and the girls area. Here you go. We have uh, gutted this space. I am currently standing where the showers used to reside. We're gonna lift the building up a little bit so that the plumbing is easier to access and to fix. And we're gonna do a little beautification process on the inside so it is a nicer place to tend to your personal care needs. So 
while I'm walking back up to the girls' area. I just wanna take a minute to let you know how it's possible that so much of this work has been done. Obviously, because I have a great and hardworking staff. Um, also, because I had a great and hardworking priest cover for me while I was on my sabbatical. Uh, Veronica worked so hard and she did so much. I mean, you wouldn't, you couldn't possibly believe everything that she accomplished in three months time. Um, and it's such a gift for me to come back into this ministry and to be freed up from some of the things I was working on before so that I can focus on some of the things that are really important, like what direction our ministry is going to take as we move into this year. But the, the, perhaps the biggest reason why this has been possible is that the diocese has been so incredibly supportive and generous during this time. Um, and they have freed up funds for us to do some of these capital projects. I mean, new boilers aren't cheap, um, but they have just been so attentive to our needs and requests to try to get some of this work done. And like, it's hard to fully capture the gratitude that I have for our bishop and for Dennis Burton, our CFO, and for our finance and program and budget committees, and for our diocesan council, all of these, all of these groups of people who work to keep the diocese functioning. And I think it's easy for some of us to have no idea what it is that they're up to and what they're doing. So I'm not just giving you a tour about what ECC is up to right now. I'm giving you a tour about what the diocese is up to and the ways that the diocese is making the best possible decisions right now to further our ministries in ways that we don't always have time and capacity to tend to. So uh, just before we finish our tour, an extra thank you to all of the people who made this possible and to all of you for supporting the diocese so that we can be here in the camp, so we can be here in the first place. Okay, you might be wondering where I am right now and you might hear the familiar sound of a washing machine. I'm in the wing basement. Check out this puppy. Oh my goodness. Now, you all might not have spent much time down here in the wing basement, but I want to tell you this is a beautiful new boiler that not only will save Lance hours and hours of boiler repair, but will allow us to have much more reasonable heat bills and it will be uh, much better for the environment the way we're using this boiler instead of the ancient ones we had in place. Guys, this one is a big win. Okay, still in the basement, but we're going in another direction. Many of you have been able to visit our staff room before. So here you see a wet paint sign. We have a beautiful new painted floor, but even more exciting. We are replacing this drop ceiling and the lights. If you're on my summer staff, you know how clutch this is. We're gonna have new lights in place and a beautiful clean new ceiling that is going to be a great addition to this room. Okay, listen, the staff room is currently in the wing basement, so you can't get the full tour, but Joyce has been so hard at work down here organizing and cleaning everything. And our office staff helped with this too, but check it out. Here's Joycey with all of our craft supplies and all the supplies we need for programming. Everything is beautifully labeled and organized and will be accessible for us when we're doing programs back in the house and in the summer. So say hi, Joycey. Okay. That's what I have for our tour right now. If you can believe it, this is only a tiny piece of all of the projects that we've been working on. But I wanted you to see what's going on up here. You know, it's been a tough year. Um, we are still in the process of trying to figure out what we'll be able to offer this summer and we will let you know as soon as possible. But in the meantime, we are doing our best to be good stewards of this holy ground. And everything that we do is done in preparation for the return of this community that we love so dearly. So. Um, thanks for being part of this community and for helping to love and support us for all of these years, but especially this year. It's been really hard. And um, thanks for helping support me while I took some much needed time away. I am back and ready to go.